Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This fellow is your host, Bill Miller. Super excited because today we're doing an unboxing of some graded comics that we got at auction several months ago. It's a big box so we'll probably put it into two or three different videos just so they're not too terribly long. But let's get started and let's see the box. Right, Julie? So I have not opened this guy as of yet. I have zero idea of which books are in there. Don't remember. It's been quite a while now. So we will find out together. As a matter of fact, I will do it in such a way as to be able to show them to you first before I get to see them. So let's get this guy open. We have our trusty box cutter, made for right-handers. All right. So, open it up. Okay. Cut open. Oh, some more tape on the inside. All right, that should do it, I think. So we'll see how many. We'll do, we'll do it in three different videos. This first one, we'll do eight books. So, here is the first book. You rascals get to see it first. Oh, super cool. And this is Black Hammer number one, Dark Horse Comics, July of 2016. First appearance of Abraham Slam, Golden Gale, Colonel Weird, Taki Waki, Barbalian, and Madam Dragonfly. Jeff Lemire story, Dean Ormston cover and art. This is a CGC 9.4 with white pages. Really good read. I think I read the first one or two trades of this guy. Pretty fun. Good story. Lemire is a quality writer. And on the back, we have an advertisement for Dark Horse in general and aliens in particular. So Black Hammer number one probably hold on to this for a little while um, but I'll ultimately end up selling it not necessarily something I'm collecting mainly just wanted to read it and maybe I'll resume reading the trades so book number two. Oh boy I like it I like it so this is a series we do collect this is Champions number nine, Marvel Comics, December of 1976. Dark Star, Crimson Dynamo, Griffin, and Titanium Man appearance. Bill Mantlow story, Bob Hall and Bob Layton art. Gil Kane cover, and this is a 9.4 with white pages. So I don't think I have this one. And if that is indeed the case, then this guy will be staying with me.
And on the back, we have my friend and yours. Happy as a clam. So, champions number nine. Next, we have, boom, all right, another Champions book. This is Champions number 14, Marvel Comics, July of 77. First appearance of Swarm, Fritz von Meyer, and Dark Star appearance. Bill Mantlo story, John Byrne and Mike Esposito art, Gil Kane and Mike Esposito cover. This is also a 9.4 with white pages. And on the back is a dramatic reenactment of my days playing hoops at the local playground. Dunking on fools. So champions number 14. Right, next. Boom. Oh, the same one. <laughs> All right, so clearly one of these uh, I'll be keeping the other one I will be selling. Same, 9.4 with white pages. All right. And next, bam. What? Another champions. This one's 15. So we've got Champions 15, Marvel Comics, September of 1977. Origin and second appearance of Swarm, Dark Star appearance. Bill Mantlo story, John Byrne and Mike Esposito art, Al Milgram cover. This is a 9.6 with white pages. And on the back, we have an advertisement for that blockbuster of films, Orca. Champions number 15. All right, next. Oh boy. Very, very cool. We have Devil Dinosaur number five, Marvel Comics, August of 1978. Jack Kirby story and cover, Jack Kirby and Mike Royer art. This is a 9.6 with off-white to white pages. On the back, I'm breaking ankles and taking names. Devil Dinosaur, number five. All right, we'll do two more. And bam. Oh, excellent. So I collect Devil Dinosaur, that one will be staying with me. And I do collect Godzilla. This one should be staying as well. So this is Godzilla number 12, Marvel Comics, July of 1978. Dum Dum Dugan and Gabe Jones appearance. Doug Monk story, Herb Trimp and Fred Keita art, Herb Trimp and Joe Rubenstein cover. This is a 9.6 with white pages.
And on the back, I'm again hustling on the basketball court. So Godzilla number 12. All right. Last one. Let's see what we've got. And here we are. Oh, boy. Very, very nice. So here we have John Burns and X-Men number 14, Dark Horse Comics, April 93, John Burns story cover and art. And this is a 9.8 with white pages. So this is a very early appearance of Hellboy in a poster on a wall. And we have a 9.4, so we'll probably, uh, what we'll do is sell that one and hold on to this one. And in the back, we're advertising the Insider from Dark Horse Comics. So next men, number 14. And that will do it. For the graded comics that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I certainly enjoyed showing them to you. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get alerted as soon as I release new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.